What's going on, guys? Coach Kiki and Coach Beckin, and we are back with the Champagne Games podcast. Still champagne lit. <laughs> Still champagne lit. That's terrible. One of these days. I know. Maybe not at it's ten of oh, it's not even noon. Yeah, it's not noon, so we can't have champ. Well, it's going to be good, but <laughs> no champagne yet. Take a special um, day. <laughs> yeah, so we we will be bringing that to the party soon. Um, but I guess these first couple episodes, we're just trying to get into the groove yeah. of podcasting. Um, so maybe alcohol might not be the best option. Or it would. Or it would be a better <laughs> option. We can have fun alcohol less. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have to get the gains sometimes. So yeah. We can't get the gains if we're drinking. No. Break down the week. <laughs> if so, that would be that, great. That would, that would be amazing. That would make bikini prep. We've talked about that. Oh, so much better if you could drink alcohol. So many times. But unfortunately, alcohol slows down your fat loss and muscle protein synthesis. So, fun fact. Yeah. Um, we don't need to be indulging frequently. <laughs> yeah. We have things to do this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, we just got done training this morning. Well, it was like an active rest day for Coach Kiki. I destroyed my legs. I had to wipe my knees off right before this because I did walking lunges to end my training. And um, yeah, those are fucking killers. So, dude, yeah, lunges in all formats. Mm-hmm. Even just body weight. So good. They were, yeah. Oh my God. I love them. I was doing weight, like dumbbell walking lunges. And I, like my my grip was like giving out. I'm like, God damn it. I need to work on that. But yeah. Um, yeah, overhead walking one just. Oh yeah, those looked. My active rest day, I just kind of still kills herself. I still just I just like go in. It's like my I, I it's like free from my plan. So I yeah, just, like, it's a fun go in there and just like do what I want. I was like, oh, this feels good. I'm gonna do another set. Yeah, that's one of the best things about like getting new into your off season. Like you can just go to the gym and have fun and yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, and, like still doing her plan, but <laughs> yeah. So like my days, um, like for example, I didn't do hip thrusts yesterday in my leg day. And I didn't do. Um, walking lunges from Monday and narrow grip pull downs on Tuesday because I was, there's just so much volume in my program right now. So I just like didn't get to it. Yeah. Uh, so I just did those today. Um, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but all <laughs> the items, rest day. all the yeah. things are coming. Um, so yeah, this episode is super special because we're going to get to know more about Coach Beckin. So, um, yeah, let's get to know you and, you know, but, pick a couple of things, you know, that you've learned throughout your time on this earth. Yes. So this is a lot of what I've learned in the past year. Um, we'll probably get into this more, um, but it's just been a huge year of change for me and like lessons I've learned along the way. So I picked like three things that I want to talk about um, that have helped me majorly and hopefully can resonate with some other people. So my first one is don't settle um, with for anything, you know, like a relationship, a job. If you're unhappy, like there's always something you can do about it. And I am not by any means saying it's going to be easy to change, but it's going to be worth it. Um, just keep in mind like deep down you know what decision is the right decision for you um like yeah like you know make your make intuition th- yeah. that's my next thing yeah. kiki and Preston, they had a professor um that always said make a decision and then make it the right one so like maybe you don't know like you're not certain like is this the right decision but it's up to you to like make your decision and stick with it. Um, and then just work to, you know, make that right decision for you, whether it was right at the time or not, you know, you made that decision. So you, you have to live with it. So you're making it good for you. There's no reason to be like, what ifs, right? Cause it's what ifs now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and then my last one, this is like one of my favorite sayings. So eat the frog means like, just do the hard thing first. Like 
you wake up and if you have something that you're dreading that day, do it first so it's out of the way because fear feeds off of time. Like the, the longer you push something off, the scarier it's going to be. So that goes for big decisions and little ones. Like if you just have something that you don't want to do on your to-do list in a day, like just do it right away and then you're going to feel so much better for the rest of your day or your life in general if it is a huge decision that's why i tell a lot of my clients you know if they're struggling to get to the gym after work like yo wake up 45 minutes earlier and do you know either your cardio or your training yeah. something in the morning so then the hard stuff is done so yeah you've already accomplished x y or z by you know 7 or 8 a.m and then you have the entire rest of your day to you know get your stuff yeah, out. it feels freaking good too like yeah i promise you will thank yourself okay so that's my first question <laughs> don't settle um number two you are stronger than you think you are like in all things this goes for in the gym like your mind is always going to give up before your body does oh my God. um and you know in life in general like if you have something that you think you can't do you think you're not going to make it through it like Yes, you are, I promise. Like I have been not single my whole life until this last year. Like, I, you know, it was like, I can't, like I can't do it. Like I need someone. Guess who's been living alone for a year now? Yeah, <laughs> me, me. yeah. I'm so proud of my own. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, I just, I've been through a lot in the last year and I've been through, like it's been scary to live alone and live away from my family but you can surround yourself with other people that are good for you and like know what you need and are there for you through everything and um you're gonna get through it like people love you obviously you want to have a support system yeah but um it's been so special to like to see you like blossom into you know who you are it's the you know from when uh, yeah from when i knew you like before some of the this, this shit happened or, you know, you were going through it, just like us being like just coach athlete and you getting on stage, like from just your confidence level in yourself, a shirt, like you're just so sure of like who you are, who you are. And it, it's really exciting to just kind of like see that. And it's like bringing that out in me too, which is really cool. Yeah. I love it. Um, yeah, I'll get like random people that I don't know, like that just like follow me on social media or that I haven't talked to in so many years and are like, yo, you have this like no bullshit, like flair that I, I, I don't know what it is, but like I dig it. I'm like, yeah, I do. So <laughs> get out of my DS. <laughs> Watch out. That thing's coming for you. Yes. And I'm in, I'm the body hey, part. She is, I'll be the body. She's a little bulldog ready. Like, <laughs> I'll ready to cut someone, you know, who you are. <laughs> she, she literally, <laughs> she literally, it's probably not who you think you are that she's talking to, if you're listening. Yeah. <laughs> we have a, we have a list. We have a list. <laughs> but yeah, Kiki is my protector. Um, there was like a moment someone was talking to me one time and I looked over at her and she thought like she was like ready to pounce like yeah. if said person was being mean to me yeah it was so funny yeah, yeah. <laughs> she is small but mighty if you can't see this or if you're not watching this on YouTube I'm blessing <laughs> they can feel it yeah feel these muscles baby you don't want a fucking roundhouse kick to the face from her <laughs> And my third one is, you know, focus on personal development. Like that has, we were just talking about this on the way home from the gym. The worst saying is, that's just how we've always done it. Or that's how I've always been. Like you can change that. If you don't like who you are, like you have to be open to be willing to change and to know you like, um, to really be self-aware of your like mentality and how you look at things and how you take on life like you can change stuff like I used to be a super giant pessimist like I was pessimistic and that was that like I but now I'm way more open to things and I think I a lot of it is like people I've surrounded myself with and then also like just being open to being self-aware and realizing like, oh, maybe that's not the right way to think about something. Or maybe like my view on this is um, like skewed 
because of past experiences, but you can you can change your thinking and your mentality. Highly suggest, you know, listening to motivational podcasts or self-help books or anything like, you know, journaling, just doing whatever you need to do to become more self-aware. Yeah, I feel like people are so unself-aware mm-hmm. and, and it's just like, well, why do you feel like that? And they're like, yeah, oh, I don't know. And I was like, well, what happened when you did that? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. And I'm like, how, like, it, for example, just like in terms of like food or digestion, mm-hmm. it's like, well, th- was it this? Oh, I don't know. It's like people just don't, aren't like, they don't process right. things. I don't know. I think I just like process everything. Yeah. So when someone's just like, oh, I just did this. I'm like, well, why? Why did you do that? There was no thought or action or or reflection on that or literally anything. And I think that's why, you know, I like these, you know, one-on-one coaching because I'm like, mm-hmm. we like pull it out. Of, yeah. Well, we ask questions that, mm-hmm. that they weren't them. thinking about before. Like having people pay attention to their biofeedback, like within a week of people starting, like with me, I get this so much, so much, like, like I, I can't believe it's just been a week and I haven't really done anything different but I feel so much better it's like maybe they were just drinking water for that week like there's little things that can make you feel so much better and this is like obviously from a coaching perspective and you can put that into your everyday life as well but as an example like you if you just sit and think about it like I was listening to um the resistance training revolution by Sal Stefano this morning he was talking about eating and about like, you know, sit down. You don't do anything else while you're eating. And like, think about, am I full? Like, do I feel overly full? How did I, how did that meal make me feel? Like, think about the little things and like, it's gonna open your eyes to so much more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not because of everything. Yeah. Don't overanalyze everything. Don't overanalyze things, but like don't underanalyze. Yes, yeah. You don't want to be neurotic. Uh, we also don't want to be aloof either. <laughs> there has to be. Please don't like be aloof. Oh, I like it. Oh, oh, I don't know if that's in the right context. No, it is. Okay, good. It, it's fine. I'm not very good with words sometimes, guys. <laughs> I just like, the, I'm like, I think that's the right word. I don't know. It sounds right. I don't even know if it is a word. Dude, that just reminded me of um, a scene in The Office where she's like, don't let your mind run amok. And Michael Scott's like, what does that mean? She's like, don't let your mind run out of control. And he's like, well, why wouldn't you just say that? Amok. <laughs> amok. Oh my gosh. That's how, um, amok. Amok. I am the, um, oh, it's the Halloween movie the with the Sanderson sisters. What are the uh, Hocus Pocus? Hocus Pocus. <laughs> yeah, isn't the one of the witches like it like runs around like a muck, a muck. I don't know. I could be making shit up. No, you're probably not. I'm not. I I don't know. Like when the last time I saw it was, it's a no, no, no. Halloween it's spooky, spooky season coming out. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, the next movie I want to see is the Barbie movie. Uh, yeah. So. If you're in Central Ohio, yeah, come we watch the movie with us. Yes. We're gonna be we have our... all these cute new Buff Bunny outfits. Yeah, we're gonna be in our life. Buff Bunny Dream House collection lows. I already have it ready. We need, but we just need to. I have my Barbie socks. We need to get um our Barbie like sunglasses. I need pants here on the cheese. Yeah. yeah, um, I saw <laughs> random. I saw Bomb Pop earrings at Kroger yesterday. Oh. I was like, I might need those for Memorial Day. Oh my or 4th of July. Yeah, with but our face pops. Yeah. Oh, you're done. Earrings. We're in Saka. We need to get ready for we 4th of July. July. Yeah. It's not even June, but, you know, almost. Yeah, well, we'll figure out the July 4th plans for Max Effort yeah. that morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> Well, well <laughs> all right. That's all we got. I hope you enjoyed our little chit chat at the end there. This is how our brains work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Becca and I are both Midwest um, bumpkins. So uh, we always, you know, you know that you like slap your hands on your leg. We leave each other's oh. houses. Well, uh, I, I'm going to head out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you guys learned, a, you know, a little bit about Becca and just kind of some things that you can take away. Um, so if you, you know, like this content, 
or if you don't, don't like it, it by the way. <laughs> um, but be sure to, you know, leave a five star review. Um, like I said, we're not probably five star quality yet, but we're, okay. we'll get there. We are. So rate us five star, like and comment uh, down below. Find us on YouTube as well. Um, and then you can find me on Instagram at KeekersLaugh underscore IFBB Pro. And you can find me at Beckin underscore Bikini. All right. Cheers. Hi. Champagne. Champagne. <laughs>